assalamu alaikum students our topics of today are food fresh egg hygiene starter house food handles and eating platters meat hygiene meat hygiene is the creation of conditions uh, and implementation of measures uh, necessary to ensure the safety and suitability of meat at all stages of its production chain Effective hygiene control is vital to avoid the adverse human health and economic consequences of unsuitable meat and meat related illnesses. The term meat includes various tissues of animal origin. The diseases which may be transmitted by eating uh, unwholesome meat are tapeworm infestations which include Tinea solium, Tinea saginata, Trichinella, Spiralis, and Pecioria hepatica. So bacterial infections include anthrax, echinomycosis, tuberculosis, and food poisoning. Okay, now this figure shows Tinea solium. Animals intended for slaughter are subjected to proper anti-mortem and post-mortem inspection by qualified veterinary staff. Anti-mortem inspection means uh, the inspection of live animals and birds prior to being slaughtered and its objectives are to screen all animals destined to slaughter to ensure that animals are properly rested and that proper chemical information which will assist in the disease diagnosis and judgment is obtained and to identify sick animals. Post-mortem inspection includes uh, examining the animal after being slaughtered for any infectious diseases or any localization of microorganisms, uh, 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 subcutaneous or muscular parasites, echecia, a form of span color or taste, malignant or multiple tumors, genital spoiling or contamination, uh, major ecchymosis, extensive mechanical lien, insufficient bleeding or ascites. According to Holy Quran, uh, it is stated that uh, forbidden to you are dead meat, uh, blood, flesh of spine and that on which has been invoked the name of other than God. Slaughterhouses are the places where animals whose flesh is intended for human consumption are killed. The hygiene of the slaughterhouse is of paramount importance to prevent the contamination of meat during the process of dressing. Only minimum standards for slaughterhouses have been suggested according to Public Health Act. Uh, its location should be away from residential areas. Its structure uh, includes floors and walls up to 3 feet and they should be impervious and easy to clean. Disposal of waste into a black offal extra should not be discharged in public sewers but should be collected separately. Water supply should be independent, adequate and continuous. Examination of animals include post-mortem and anti-mortem examinations to be arranged. Animals or meat found unfit for human consumption should be destroyed or denatured. Storage of meat uh, should be five proof and rat proof rooms. For overnight storage, the temperature of the room shall be maintained below 5 degrees centigrade. Transportation of meat uh, should be in five foot covered vans. Animals other than those to be slaughtered should not be allowed inside the shed. Fresh deteriorates or loses its freshness because of autolysis which sets in after death and because of bacteria with which they become infected. Stained fish should be condemned. The signs of fresh uh, fish are uh, it has firm fresh, sparkling scales, bright red, uh, bright uh, red color, mm, prominent eyes, fresh.
there is smell, no growth impact or damage fish, shellfish alive. There is smell of sea, temperature or ice. There in this figure you can see if raw fish is eaten can cause tapeworm infestation. Following points should be noted uh, for tent fish. The tent must be new and clean without any leakages or bursting. There should be no evidence of uh, being tampered uh, such as sealed openings or opening the tent. The contents should not be blown out which indicates decomposition. Our next topic is egg. Uh, the majority of freshly laid eggs are sterile inside. The shells become contaminated by fecal matter from the hen. Microorganisms including pathogenic salmonella can penetrate attract egg shells and enter the eggs. Fruits and vegetables constitute an other important source for the spread of pathogenic organisms, protozoans and helmets. These infections are a serious menace to public health where sewage is used for growing vegetables. The vegetables which are consumed raw in the form of salads pose a problem in food sanitation. People should be educated to wash the vegetables before eating them raw. The vegetables which are cooked are free from this danger. Biological factors include microbiological bacteria, yeast, mold. Microbiological factors include rodents, insects, birds, parasites, chemicals, biochemical factors, non-microbial or enzymatic changes usually involving oxidation processes, uh, for example, density of pathogens, activity of endogenous and tissue enzymes, food of vegetables or animal origin. Our next topic is sanitation of eating places. Uh, eating establishment uh, is a challenging problem in food sanitation. The following minimum standards have been suggested for restaurants and eating places. Uh, its location should be away from open drains, many of pets. Uh, floor should be impervious and there should be higher than the adjoining land. Uh, room uh, should have space of uh, 100 square feet. Uh, and uh, shall provide accommodation for maximum of 10 persons. Walls uh, should be 3 feet uh, smooth and corners should be rounded. Uh, there should be proper lighting and ventilation facilities. Uh, in kitchen, uh, space uh, should be uh, 60 square feet. Window openings should be 25% of the floor area. Floors should be non city impervious. Doors and windows should be wrapped proof and type proof. Storage of uh, cooked food uh, should be at control uh, temperatures, which uh, they should be refrigerated uh, at less than 4 degrees centigrade. Storage of uncooked food stuff should be uh, separate in drag proof and vermin proof space. Uh, for the uh, storage of perishable articles, temperature control should be adopted. Furniture should be uh, uh, reasonably strong and easy to keep clean and dry. Disposal of refuse should be in uh, impervious bins and disposal of toy space. Water supply to sanit sanitary uh, food premises uh, should be in an independent source and it should be adequate, continuous and safe. Uh, cleaning of utensils and crockery should be done in hot water and followed by disinfection. Food sanitation directly depends upon the state of personal hygiene and habits of the personnel working in the food establishment. Proper handling of foods, utensils and dishes together with emphasis upon the necessity for good personal hygiene are of great importance. Okay, now in this slide you can see that a good personal hygiene includes maintaining personal cleanliness, wearing proper work attire, following hygienic hand practices, 
avoiding unsanitary habits and actions, maintaining good health, and reporting illnesses. Education of food handlers and matters of personal hygiene, food handling, utensils, dishwashing, and insect and rodent control is the best means of promoting food hygiene. Uh, hands should be cleaned, their hands should be cleaned at all the times, hands should be scrubbed and washed with soap immediately and visiting the uh, lavatory and as uh, often as necessary. The head covering should be uh, provided, particularly in case of females, to prevent loose hair entering the food stuff. A clean white overall should be worn by all food uh, handlers. Coughing and sneezing in the vicinity of food, licking fingers before picking up an article of food, smoking on food premises are to be avoided. The infectious diseases transmitted by the food handlers are diarrhea, dysentery, typhoid and paratyphoid fevers, enteroviruses, viral high hepatitis, protozoal cysts, eggs of helminths, stepto and streptococcus infections, and salmonella acidosis. Any person with a history of typhoid fever, diphtheria, chronic dysentery, tuberculosis, or any other communicable disease should not be employed. Persons with wounds, otitis media, or skin infections should not be permitted to handle food or utensils. The day-to-day -day health appraisal of the food handlers is also equally important. Those who are ill should be excluded from food handling. It is also important that any illness which occurs in a food handler's family should be notified.